Oh yeah, you do it. It's much easier when you do it. All right, kia ora everyone, kia ora ano. Welcome back. Thank you whoever is dinging their wine glass, that's very appropriate, thank you. So, um, the reason I'm being so pushy, shh, 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 shh. the reason we're being so pushy is because we're trying to time these things simultaneously with our um, colleagues in Christchurch. If the person next to you is talking, can you please just politely tap them on the shoulder? Thank you. We're just trying to time this with our colleagues in Christchurch and Wellington, which makes it tricky because some of us read fast and some of us read slow. But um, thank, welcome back, and um, and it was it was good to have our Wellington and Christchurch colleagues online. Now they are having their own special events. We're about now to talk about the finalists for the High Tech Awards for 2024. But before we do that, I just wanted to say thank you to a few people. Firstly, to our judges. We have over 70 local judges and 12 international judges. It's a huge effort to judge over 400, is it? 270, okay, 400 in my mind anyway, um, uh, entries. And it's a big job. And we know that our lineup, um, our judging lineup is really put, um, put to work. So I want to say thank you to all of them. This year we're really excited. We've had a goal at the High Tech Awards um, for many years to get better gender diversity into our our finalists and our entries and our judges. And this year we're really um, pleased to say that our um, over 50% of our judges this year were female, which is fantastic. Um, and that was because they were the best people when we really um, reached out to some of the best people who really understood their categories. So we're really pleased about that. And we keep working on um, diversity of all, of all types in the entrance and in the finalists as well. I also wanted to say um, thank you for working um, free of charge because um, we are basically a, a, a charity at the High Tech Awards and um, it's really important that we get um, your support. Thank you also to our convener of judges, Mike Riley, who's here somewhere in person. Mike, give him a, bit, give him a round of applause down there because Mike <laughs> does a huge job for us. Mike, along with the, the trustees of the High Tech Awards, we all do this because we love the industry so much and um, we're really, really keen to see it grow. This year, again, record number of entries, 10% up on our previous highest awards and, 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 and record levels in many categories, which is great. And of course, the High Tech Awards would never be possible without our sponsors and our supporters. So I want to say thank you to all of them. Big thank you to many of the category sponsors who've been part of this for many years. So um, first of all, going to come up on stage here, our, our host this evening and our longest standing category sponsor, PwC, to Duncan Cotterell, ASX, Aware Group, who are new this year, Braymac, uh, Callahan Innovation and the Putama Trust, uh, Consult Recruitment, Datacom, who are new this year, Kiwi Bank, NZTE, NZX, who are new this year, Puna Kaiki Fund, Spark, Tate Communications and Zero. Can we give them a big round of applause? Thank you to all of them. Could not do it without them. And also to our supporters, this is another important group for us, people who really just dive in behind because they love the awards. Uh, Adobe, Amaru, uh, AWS, Bridge West Ventures, Sin7, Delta Insurance, Digital Garage, Fisher & Paykel Healthcare, uh, GD1, GPC Electronics, IDA Ireland, Invest Hong Kong, Jade, Cordia, Northington Partners, NZ Tech, Orion Health, 
Pirello, Partridge Advisory, Raycon, Residio, Salesforce, Serco, Swaytech, Trimble, Uniservices, Uni and the University of Auckland. Again, big round of applause. Thank you to all of our supporters. <laughs> we would not be able to do this without all of them. Um, so now we're going to get on to announcing the finalists and um, the sensational awards dinner that we have every year is a great celebration of success and we, we love having everyone there. It's not just about being a finalist there, it's about celebrating the success of the sector. So I'll tell you later about how you can get um, a ticket to that. Tonight, if you are announced a finalist, please enjoy the moment, of course, shout from the rooftops, maybe give a little whoop, um, and, and this will give you an opportunity, we hope, to a finalist in the High Tech Awards is a very prestigious thing. You know, we've had 270 plus entries, we can only have a very limited number of finalists. Um, if you are one of those, then, it, then it's a recognition of the growth and the trajectory that you're on. Uh, and please make sure when you, when you tweet about it, when you social media about it, not yet, not till the end, um, use the hashtag HTANZ. So make, make sure you wait till we've read out all the finalists before you do that. So tonight's not the night for acceptance speeches, so um, you know, quell your enthusiasm. No one's, <laughs> no one's rushing the stage to give a, a speech. Um, that comes at the gala dinner. Um, but you know, be, be sure you give a bit of a whoop, a bit of a clap, a bit of a cheer, that sort of thing, and definitely on social media later. Um, if you're announced as a finalist this evening, you'll be contacted by the team from Swaytech in the next uh, 24 hours or so, but before Easter and they'll tell you the next steps in the judging panel. And we have, um, the second stage of judging is an in-person panel judging session on the 11th of April. So that's, um, that's kind of your opportunity to really put your best foot forward. The date's not movable, sadly. Um, we, as you can imagine, it's quite a, um, a difficult thing to align everybody. It'll take place in Auckland, so probably fine for all of you in the room. Um, and there is no panel judging in some of the inspiring individual, for example, um, sec section. The best contribute and, and also none in the best contribution to the NZ uh, sector, the technology sector, and of course the company of the year. So anyway, that's a lot of detail. The Swaytech people will contact you if you're a finalist and tell you what you need to do. <laughs> so keep the date free though for the 11th of April. And now, anyway, the finalists, and this is my kind of my um, penance every year is to read out a long list of names and disappoint people who I love and uh, excite other people who I love as well. So. The announcement of the finalists, and first up tonight we're going to announce the Zero High Tech Young Achiever Award for 2024. And in this category, we have five finalists for um, Young Achiever of the Year, and they are the Technology Lead at Catalyst IT, Alicia Amahuya. Uh, the man you're allowed to give a little whoop and a little clap if you're here, by the way. Um, uh, no, not, no, you don't have to, I don't want to make a big thing of it. Um, the Managing Director of Watchful Limited, Joshua Parsons. Um, Actually, no, that's going to get tedious if you have, feel like you have to clap at everyone, isn't it? If you're here and you want to, clap. If not, don't worry, otherwise we'll keep going. The CEO and the co-founder of VXT, Luke Campbell. Uh, the co-founder and director of Fiber Fale, Nuali um, Eteroa Lafale. Uh, the founder and CEO of Precision Chroma, Sean Feast. Now, let's give them all a round of applause. Fantastic. <laughs> Woo! All right, now the next award is the Spark Best Technology Award for the Public Good. And the finalists in this category are Providing a Unified View of Planned Infrastructure Works, Digital Built Altera, uh, Helping Single Caregivers Move Disabled Patients, Harpi Transfer Systems, Enabling Governments and Organisations to Communicate with Their Deaf Customers, CARA Technologies, Bringing digital tools to community corrections and sentenced individuals, Optimation Health, uh, Optimation Group, sorry. And educating teams with an ed uh, intellectual disability on how to manage their money and live independently at Stand Tall from the IHC and In Game. Give them all a round of applause too. <laughs> Some amazing, uh, amazing companies and projects for the public good. And now we're going to move on to the Most Inspiring Individual Award. And this is sponsored the for the first time this year by B Datacom. Thank you. And the six finalists for this award are co-founder and chief product officer at Blink Play Global, uh, Global Adrian Smith, the chair of the, NZ, chair of the NZ Game Developers Association, Chelsea Rapp. Uh, next up, the chair of Te Matero, uh, the Māori Tech Association, L Archer. Our fourth finalist this year is the CEO and co-founder of Fiber Fale, Julia Arnott-Nene. 
uh, the founder and director of Empathics, Olivia Dayat. And last up, the executive chair of the New Zealand Angel Association, Suze Reynolds. <laughs> Round of applause for all of them. Am I going all right? Okay, good. Good. Right. Oh, it's quite hard work reading all this stuff. Now, the next uh, category is the most innovative high-tech creative uh, technology solution category. High-tech creative technology solution. And this is sponsored by the first time this year, for the first time this year by NZX. There are three finalists, and they are... Developers of gyro stabili stabilized camera systems, immortal camera systems. Uh, transforming how users learn to play musical instruments, melodics. Revolutionizing the post-production workflow for professional photography, narrative. Yo, Yo. there you go. Yeah. You're, allowed to, you're allowed to whoop, that's fine. Okay, and next up. We have a category that recognizes a company which has brought a solution to market from primary research. And this is the uh, most innovative deep tech solution, which is sponsored for the first time this year by Aware Group. And the finalists are transforming aluminium smelters into flexible power users, NPOT, developers of a micro implantable sensor for the brain, enabling patients to monitor brain pressure at home, Kitia Health, Enabling pig farmers to save the lives of their animals using AI smarts, Masco Technologies. There we go, thank you, good on you. Uh, and changing how the treatment of low clarity liquids and wastewaters are dealt with, Novo Labs. The big round of applause. <laughs> applause for the people that we don't know what they actually do. That's fantastic. That's Incredible. That, some of that deep tech stuff is like companies that you've never heard of and are doing amazing things um, built from science. But next up, a category that recognises the increasing influence and impact of Māori in the tech sector. And this is sponsored by Callaghan Innovation and the Potama Trust. And this is the high-tech company Māori o Te Tau, the Māori company of the year. And the finalists are... Uh, revolutionising New Zealand's payment industries by offering seamless, cost-effective payment solutions, Blink Pay, Blink Pay Global, uh, helping the global conservation and reforestation sectors with its industry-leading drone and land transfer technologies, Invico Technologies, and using advanced mathematical techniques to, provide, uh, to prove classes of cyber vulnerabil vulnerabilities are uh, eliminated, eliminated, Cry 10. Give them a big round of applause, please. <laughs> Feels to me like the, the level of technology has really gone up this year um, based on these descriptions. Uh, and next up, one of the most fiercely fought categories. It always gets a huge number of entries, this particular category. It's a Duncan Cotterill Innovative High-Tech Software Solution Award. And we always get a massive number of entries, but there are four finalists this year. With their solution combining the power of decision making and conjoint analysis, 1,000 minds. Making crypto accessible for the world with its secure platform, Easy Crypto. Providing real time monitoring and analysis, helping to protect vulnerable marine areas, Starboard mar Maritime Intelligence. And using AI enhanced technologies to analyze retinal images, Toku Eyes. Give them a big round of applause. Now we get on to the finalists for the most innovative high-tech hardware platform award, and this is sponsored by Braymac. And the four finalists are, uh, first up with their uh, uh, revolutionary underwater drone, Boxfish Robotics. Come on, I saw you here, you can give a whoop. Um, <laughs> already a finalist this, this evening, uh, Immortal Camera Systems, um, enabling patients to monitor uh, brain pressure at home, Kitia, Syst uh, Kitia System Health. And up again, a second time again, finalists this evening, Novo Labs. So a big round of applause for all of them. Okay, now a new category that we introduced this year. Um, we really thought it was an important category for us to start recognizing the companies that are working in this area. So the most innovative high-tech solution for a more sustainable future. And this is sponsored by Kiwi Bank. And the six finalists are Creating solutions that truly make industrial decarbonisation achievable, aspiring materials. Uh, using remote sensing and automation to measure carbon in forests, carbon crop. 
helping individuals and companies measure, understand and reduce their carbon footprint, COGO. Developers of a low carbon solution for extracting lithium, cobalt and nickel from, uh, nickel from lithium iron batteries, Mint Innovation. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, next up, and a company that we're getting to know very well this evening because they've been here a couple of times before, Novo Labs. And finally, also a second time finalist this evening, Starboard Maritime Intelligence. So a big round of applause to all of them. <laughs> and our next category is the best contribution to the NZ tech sector. And this is sponsored by Consult Recruitment. Thank you. And with you, we've got five, uh, four finalists, so congratulations to them. Those finalists are... For 20 years, they've been one of our leading startup hubs in New Zealand, Creative HQ. There'll be a bit of whooping in Wellington right now. Um, nourishing young minds and supporting them to flourish in the digital realm, digital future Aotearoa. Helping transform the tech landscape for graduates. Mission ready? Yeah. <laughs> Sharma won't let me down, that's good. And our last finalist, they survey, they quantify, they analyze and report on the Kiwi tech sector. It's the Technology Investment Network, who we all know as TIN. Very good. Thank you very much and congratulations to them. All right, moving us along. Now, we move on to the most innovative high-tech agri-tech solution for 2024. And this is uh, proudly sponsored by NZTE. And the, four, the finalists in this category are... A second time finalist this evening, Masco Technologies. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> uh, transforming the productive capacity of irrigation water with its breakthrough technology, Nanobubble. Tackling the challenges facing the viticulture industry with its smart spray solution, Southern Water Engineering. Creators of the world's first autonomous robotic tractor, the Smart Machine Company and helping large users of water to monitor and manage their water consumption, Wild Eye. Big round of applause for all of them. <laughs> all right, so those are the sort of category sponsor, uh, areas, and now we're getting into the company awards, uh, more around the size and scale of those industries, of those businesses. And so, yeah, the company awards, first up, the high-tech startup of the year, Sponsored by the Punakaiki Fund, and this year, as always, a massive number. This is probably, I think, the biggest uh, entries by far. So an incredible challenge for the judges to whittle it down to just five finalists. So up for a second time this evening, Carbon Crop. Uh, helping fund managers improve operational efficiency and reduce risk, Caruso. Helping businesses protect their sensitive data with data masking. It's the aptly named Data Mask. Thank you. <laughs> uh, our next finalist is making a name for itself as a finalist this evening. They're taking a bit of a sweep, the Novo Labs. And finally, another country, uh, company that's clearly impressed the judges this year across several categories, Starboard Maritime Intelligence. So big, big uh, round of applause for all of them. <laughs> all right, I'm, get, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. And now we have the high-tech emerging uh, company for 2024, which is sponsored by ASX. Thank you. And we have, again, another amazing lineup of companies. We first up a company that has built a shipping automation platform, Starship It, <laughs> who are obviously here tonight. Um, developers of a brand tacking, uh, tracking dashboard, Tracksuit. Uh, connecting healthcare workers with the healthcare industry, WOFO. And providers of technology that accelerates lithium supply in environmentally friendly and efficient ways, Zilands. Big round of applause to all of them. And now the, the big one, the final one, the PwC Company of the Year for 2024. And this, this is judged exclusively by international judges. We ask an esteemed panel of international people to look at this, and they usually don't know much about the company, but they drill in and learn a lot. And we had a huge uh, and, and exciting pool of entrants right across the high-tech sector. Um, we also introduced a new condition this year that, this, that a company can only win this award once because we feel like this is such a prestigious award we want to recognise the people that are that are um, entering it, not not um, uh, and not not sort of dominate it. So for this particular award, I'm going to actually ask Teresa. Where are you, Teresa? Teresa, uh, there you go. She is going to um, announce the finalists because this is the PwC Company of the Year. I've got them all there for you, Teresa. Oh, you've got your envelope. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, okay, oh, okay. All right. We're not mic'd, so apparently I've got to stand next oh. to you. Oh. Here we go. Do I have to be loud? Yeah, no, we can do that. Okay, do I'll that. do that. That's teamwork. This year, we have five finalists in the 2024 PwC Company of the Year category, and they are... Hang on. Drum roll, please. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Assisting students to accelerate their studies from pre-primary to postgraduate Crimson Education. Woo! Developers of fleet management solutions that connect companies to their vehicles, assets and operations in one platform. E-Road. Transforming energy and water utilities with its leading product to profit solution, Gentrack. Developers of leading EdTech platform used by over 40 million users around the world. Cami. And our last finalist has awoken the attention of Kiwis to what's possible in the aerospace sector and is taking on the world. Rocket Lab. Very good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Next time we'll get your own microphone, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, thank you, Teresa, and thanks for having us here. And thank you to um, all the entries. As I mentioned, like, it's such a difficult job whittling down 270 entries across all those categories into just those finalists. Um, good luck to all of you. Um, and we hope that some of you that entered this year will continue to enter next year because it's a really critical part. We see, again, companies that enter in one year, re-enter and, and um, make it through. And we look forward to seeing everyone at the gala dinner this year, as I mentioned, down at Spark Arena on the 24th of May. Um, we're already selling pretty strongly, so if you haven't got your tickets, it would pay to do so ASAP. Um, the event will always sell out, and uh, we've got some, all, as always, Bob's got some incredible new things planned for us. Um, every year, we challenge them to go above and beyond, and they, te they tend to deliver on those awards. La no lasers, Bob. I said no lasers. Um, but it's going to be a special night because in that night, not only do we celebrate the finalists and winners, but we also unveil our 2024 Flying Kiwi, who's inducted into the Tate Communications um, High Tech Hall of Fame. So to book your tickets, go and see one of the Sway Tech team, Bob or, or a couple of his team are around, or go to the awards site, hightech.org.nz. Uh, really appreciate you all coming along. Stick around for a drink. There's plenty of cheese at the front. We'd love to um, celebrate a bit more with you. And thanks again for supporting the incredible growth of the high tech sector. Kia ora.